Daily maintenance is an important step to keeping your machine up and running. Let's take a look at some of the simple checks that should be done prior to using the machine. Open the engine access door and raise the radiator guard. Remove any debris that may be present on the radiator. While there, check the coolant level in the sight gauge on the radiator. Maintain the coolant level to the top of the sight gauge with the radiator in the lowered position. Tilt the radiator guard downward and secure with latch. Inspect the coolant reservoir on the left-hand side of the engine bay or on the back of the engine compartment door. Maintain the coolant level in the coolant overflow reservoir between min and max when the engine is not running. Check the dust valve on the air filter housing which is located on the right side of the engine compartment. Actuate the valve by squeezing the lips of the valve to remove any accumulated debris. Remove the engine oil dipstick to ensure the engine has the proper level of oil. Maintain the oil level between the add mark and the full mark on the dipstick. On the left hand side of the engine compartment is the fuel water separator. Inspect the clear bowl at the bottom of the fuel water separator. If water is present, drain the water into a suitable container. Loosen the drain valve on the bottom of the fuel filter. Once water has been removed, hand tighten the drain valve. Close the engine door and begin proceeding to the front of the machine. When walking to the front of the machine, confirm that the hydraulic oil is at the correct level. To properly check the hydraulic oil, the machine should be on flat ground and any work tool should be lowered to the ground. Also, while walking around the machine, it is a good time to confirm that the grease points are properly greased. Refer to the machine OMM for the exact locations of your machine's grease points. There is also a decal on the inside of the engine door showing the grease points. Once in the cab, inspect the seat belt for proper function. Start the machine. If the machine requires DEF fluid, ensure the fluid is at the correct level using the on-screen display. Ensure the backup alarm is working correctly. Disengage the parking brake and move the joystick control to the reverse position. The backup alarm should sound immediately. The alarm should continue to sound until the joystick is returned to the neutral position. Using the correct maintenance practices can greatly extend service life. For more information regarding preventative maintenance, parts, service, or machine operation, refer to the Machine Operation and Maintenance Manual or contact your local CAT dealer.